wanted to show you something I just found outside. Do you see what I see? Yep, that's mud. When I see mud, I think of an amazing story about a blind man who got his sight back when Jesus helped him. Let's check out this Bible story. Help! I can't see! Where'd everybody go? Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. I just have a blindfold on. Hi! I was a little scared for a minute because I couldn't see. We were just going to talk about a story about a blind man in the Bible. This man couldn't see from the time he was born. Can you imagine that? Not being able to see for all those years. But one day, Jesus came along and then this man was able to see. Let's see what the Bible tells us. Do you see the man sitting on the ground? He was blind. And other people wondered, why was he blind? Did he sin or did his parents sin? But Jesus told us he was born blind so that God could get glory. Let's see how Jesus is gonna help him. What is he putting on his eyes? You guessed it, that's mud, just like we saw on the ground a few minutes ago. He took some mud from the ground and he spit on it and then Jesus put it on his eyes. That must have felt a little mushy. But you know what? The man had never been able to see, so he let Jesus try it. And he told the man go and wash your eyes in a special place. And the man was so excited because he believed that Jesus could help him. He listened to Jesus. We should listen to Jesus. And look, the man washed the mud off his eyes in the special pool. And look, his eyes were open. He could see for the first time in his whole life. That is so amazing. And it's all because he met Jesus. Jesus loves us and he cares for us. Jesus is that little baby that came at Christmas that God sent to us to save us. Jesus loves us and he is amazing. You've heard of him uh, help men catch fish and he could stop a storm that was raging, and he's even helped people walk that couldn't walk. And now, we just learned about Jesus helping this man see. Think about it if you ever put on a blindfold, how you can't see for just a couple minutes, but this man couldn't see from the time he was born, but now he could. Jesus is amazing. He is God's son. I hope next time when you see some mud, you will tell those that you know about Jesus and how amazing he is. How he gave a man who was blind, like he had a blindfold on, but he was blind, he really couldn't see ever. How he could now see because Jesus put mud on his eyes. Well, until next time, friends. Take care, bye-bye.
does, like he does. There is only one who loves me. Today, I'm making space slime. Here's my recipe. Can you help me count the ingredients? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Great counting. When we mix this all together, it will make space slime. Here it goes. Glue. <laughs> Ooh, that's icky. Water and this stuff to hold it together. What color do you think we should make our space slime? Red, yellow. You know what? I think that space seems kind of blue. I think that's enough. And we definitely need glittery stars in our space slime. That's weird. Is it supposed to be like this? <gasps> I know. We have to mix it up and squish it with our hands. Can you help me squish it? Roll up your sleeves and get your hands ready. Let's squish. Hey, I think it's done. This is so amazing. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? Making fun slime, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. Making slime is the best thing ever. Mixing up slime is great. Who? Who? And I know something Jesus mixed up, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Hola, friends! I'm Luis, the handyman. Look what I'm making for our story today. 
I'm going to mix this dirt with this water. Watch. <laughs> now, what did I make? Ooh, mud! <laughs> That's right. Now, what does mud have to do with the amazing stories we've been learning about Jesus? Well, I'll show you. Are you ready to help me build a story? Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus and his friends walking along a road. When Jesus noticed a man, Jesus stopped. Jesus saw that the man was blind, which means that his eyes couldn't see. Now close your eyes for a minute. What can you see? Nothing. You can't see your friends or your leader, or whether it's sunny or dark outside. Okay, you can open your eyes now. When Jesus saw the man who was blind, he did something really amazing. Jesus spit on the ground, and he turned the dirt into what? Mud! <laughs> Jesus took the mud and put it on the man's eyes. Ooh, let's pretend to put mud on our eyes too. Now put it on your eyes. Ooh. <laughs> then Jesus told the man to go wash his face in the water. Now you need to wash your face in the water. All right, now get this side and get this other side. <laughs> now open your eyes. The man did what Jesus said. He went and washed off the mud in the water. Guess what? The man could see. The man was so amazed. Jesus is amazing. We've learned a lot about how amazing Jesus is. Jesus is God's son, and he can do amazing things. <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. See you again soon. <laughs> so there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus mixed mud to help a man see. Jesus is amazing. Ho, ho. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, Jesus mixed up mud and used it to help a man see. Jesus is so amazing. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Wow, Jesus is so amazing. I know I can share this slime with my friends and tell them how amazing Jesus is. I'll see you next time. Bye! game today with the words to our Bible verse. Come help me! Our Bible verse this month is, everyone who heard him was amazed. Luke 2 47. We're gonna mix it up though. Ready? Here we go. Mix up all the pieces. I need the word everyone. Do you see it? I 
now I need the word ooh. It has a W. There it is. Ooh. Where is the word heard? Is this the word heard? Nope, that says Luke. What this one? Was. Here it is. Heard. Everyone who heard the word him. Now we're talking about Jesus, so it's a capital H. Him. Everyone who heard him was amazed. practice the Bible verse at home with your family. Bye! missionaries and because we're not really having crossroads kids right now we can't do that in person but we still want a challenge for you guys we are going to be collecting money for our crossroads missionaries so if you come to church with your mom or dad to a service at our East Windsor or our East Hartford campus you can pick up one of these yellow buddy barrels they're called and what we want you to do is put some loose change or do some chores do some special things around the house to earn money to help pay for our missionaries and help give our missionaries funds so that they could still go around the world and tell people about Jesus now some of you aren't coming to church and that's okay and if you don't have one of these buddy barrels there are other things that you can do if you have a bowl 
or a cup, you can put some change in that bowl or cup, or even just a plastic bag. Anything, excuse me, that you can hold little bits of money in and then return it and bring it into church the next time you're there we're gonna have more kids services soon so anytime that you're at crossroads or your parents are at crossroads you can turn it in and we will donate all of this money to our missionaries and with missions month in mind we wanted to do something really special with our crossroads kids so we have some of our crossroads kids that have sent in videos of them saying that Jesus loves you in a language that's not English. We have a lot of Crossroads kids that speak other languages or know another language. And so they have sent it in. So I hope that you enjoy our Crossroads kids, friends and families, letting us know that Jesus loves us. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus te ama. Jesus loves you. Dios te ama. Dios en en boy. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me in two languages. In Nigeria, which are Igbo and Ibibio. The first one is Igbo. Jesu Aru Ginanya. The second one is Ibibio. Jesu Mama. Jesus te ama. Yeah, yeah.